Thomas Babylon and happy Thurs DIY. On this Thurs DIY, we are going to be creating this beautiful oil pastel landscape. It's a land and sea scene. So first things first, we have to get started with our supplies. So for this project, you do need oil pastels. I use the Crepas Expressionist set, but you can also use any other oil pastel set, or if you want, you can even use chalk pastels. Chalk pastels just tend to be a little bit more messy. You also need pastel paper. If you don't have pastel paper, you can use any type of paper you have. Really just find paper that you have around your house. You do need a pencil, masking tape, scissors, and paper towels. So the first thing I did was I grabbed a piece of my white pastel paper and I just taped the edges and now this masking tape is super super strong so I didn't push too hard on the outside I just pushed on the inside to make sure we get a clean border then what I did is I layered a couple of pieces of tape and used a glass to trace out a circle so I'm just going to cut this circle out now and place this onto my paper as our moon so I'll show you as I cut Okay. So I'm just following my line that I traced out. It's a little sticky. Okay, almost there. Okay. So now I have my circle and I'm going to stick that in the middle top portion of my canvas. Well, my pastel paper and it's not a perfect circle but that's okay because when I add the white in I'll just round out my circle so the first thing we're going to do is start with our C portion of the project so I'm taking oil pastels do get a little messy I'm taking a emerald green and I'm going to line out the bottom portion And then I'm literally just going to scribble in with my pastel and just lay a light layer of the pastel over. Okay. Then I'm going to switch colors. So now I'm going to move to a cerulean and I'm going to do the same thing. So cerulean blue. And we're just adding in a line of that. And you do want to cover the entire paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. And last but not least, I'm taking a ultramarine blue and coloring in the bottom portion of my ocean. Okay. So now I have the base of my bottom, my bottom portion done. I'm going to move to the sky. So I'm starting with a pale blue. I'm going to cover the bottom in pale blue. So really we're just using a bunch of variations of the color blue. Okay. I'm going to bring it up a little higher because I do like this color. And this is what the masking tape is for. It's blocking the canvas from getting the pastel on it. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of a darker blue. This is cobalt blue. Taking it almost all the way up to the top. Okay. And then I am going to take Prussian blue and just get my top corners. It's a very dark blue. So I don't want to inundate the project with a very, very dark color. So I'm only doing a little bit. A little goes a long way. Okay. So now we have a whole layer done. So we're going to take a paper towel. And what I do is I wrap it around my finger. And I'm going to start with the light portion. So I'm going to start with my bottom of my C. I'm going to blend my pastel. You don't want to push too hard, but just hard enough to move the oil pastel over the surface of your canvas. So I'm going to do this for the entire canvas, and then I'll show you what to do next. 
Okay, so now I blended in all my pastels and you can see it's a little patchy. So now we have to do a second layer. So I'm going to start once again with my emerald green at my waterline. I'm going to do another layer over the top. And now you could blend your lines a little. You don't want it to be so stripy. So I'm bringing this in a little bit to the other color. Trying to keep my horizon line pretty clean. This is the horizon line here. And you can see already I'm getting way more coverage the second go around. Okay, so now we're going to switch to our cerulean blue. And you can even bring the cerulean blue up a little bit into your emerald green. Okay. Now we're getting a nice layer much better coverage. Okay, then we're going to go to our ultramarine, uh, ultramarine, yeah. Sometimes I like to make up names of colors, get really creative with it, but this is ultramarine. That's what the uh, wrapper says. I don't think I've heard that one before. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit into my cerulean blue, just to help blend out the color. come in with my emerald green too and just bring that down a little more you could see you're already getting a better blend now we're going to go up to the sky and i'm going to do another layer of my pale pale blue i'm going to be very mindful of my horizon line I'll bring that all the way up into about three quarters of the sky you could see i'm always going horizontal with it you don't want to go all over the place because then you're not going to get a smooth gradation. We're going to then switch over to our cobalt blue. Okay. Just cover everything. Bring that down a little. Wonderful. Then we're going to take our Prussia blue. And layer it into the corners at the top and the very top portion of our sky. Okay, beautiful. So now, once again, we have to blend. So I'm going to wrap my paper towel around my finger and come in and blend it all together. And you can see as I blend, I'm going horizontal on that as well. To get the best blend, you want to go all in the same direction. Just trying to get it into my corners a little bit. Because when you want your when when you take the tape off, you want to have a very straight line. So I don't want those little white fuzzy pieces showing. Okay. Beautiful. So there's our ocean and the very edges don't have to be perfect because we are going to be putting the black portions of land in. So I'm going to just take my paper towel, turn it upside down and blend my sky. You can see how the second layer already, you're getting more coverage. It's so important that we blend the colors on the second layer just to make it easier for it to blend when you Use your paper towel. You don't want any white portions showing through. Okay. So now before I put my moon in, I'm going to take my white and I want to create a tiny bit of a cloud, more like a haze. So I'm putting my white over. And I'm blending it, but not fully. Just enough to kind of smudge it into my sky. I'm going to do a little bit more around my moon because the moon is creating light. And I'm going to blend that out as well. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on our ocean part. 
So the moon is casting light onto your ocean. So we're going to create these little lines in the water as if the, line, the moon is reflecting. And I like it a little bit more streaky. So going to blend my first layer. going to clean my oil pastel off so I'm it's clean and white and I'm gonna just come in and try to get some nice lines of white in here for our reflection okay so now we're gonna peel the paper the masking tape off our paper and do this super carefully you don't want to rip your paper and sometimes tape can tend to be a little bit more sticky depending on which one you're using. So the last time I did this, I actually ripped all of my pastel paper. So I'm trying so hard to take this up carefully. If you get a little tearing, it's okay. Okay, so I have a little tearing, but that's okay because I'm putting white over it. So I'm taking my white oil pastel and I'm now coloring in the moon. I'm using a circle motion, so if by chance I accidentally go out of the lines a little, it still follows the line of the moon. Okay. So I'm gonna take a new paper towel, because you don't want blue in your white moon. We're just going to blend in the white. Okay. I got a little out of my line, so it's okay. I'm just going to blend it out, come around, and just blend out all the little white I put around it. All right, there we go. You have your moon. So now we can move on to the land portion. So to do this, we're going to take our black oil pastel, and we are going to mark out our land masses. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a triangle shape. It's imperfect. You don't want it to look like um, a perfect straight line because nature has imperfections. So there we go. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And I don't want it to be symmetrical, so I'm gonna make this triangle a little smaller. Okay. I'm also going to add land masses at the horizon line. It's almost as if we're in a little bay, a little cove. Okay. Just going to color that in. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So pretty much you're adding in these little baby triangle shapes. Okay. All right. So now we color in our land masses. It doesn't have to be perfect because once again we're going to blend with our paper towel but you do want full coverage of black okay almost fully covered wonderful so now I'm going to take my paper towel and blend the black portion together It can get a little messy, which is why I always put the masking tape around the edges. It just helps you get a nice finished look at the end. All right, so there we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create the little ship that's in the middle. And to do that, I'm going to make this U shape, very faint U shape, and draw a line over the top. Just color that in completely. Beautiful. And I'm going to add a little triangle for my sail. And it's not a perfect little sailboat. It's my imagination sailboat. Taking a little artistic license here. There we go. I might make it a little longer. 
All right, so there we have our boat. So now what I'm gonna do is actually take a little white and just put it under. And any boat that's in water is going to create a little bit of wake. So this is what I'm trying to emulate. And I'm gonna take a little black and create a little bit of a shadow in my water from my boat. All right. And last but not least, we're going to add some grass onto our land masses. So we're just gonna take our black pastel and just layer in grass. Some beach grass to break everything up a little, give it a little texture. We're gonna do that on both sides. You can always come in after two with a Sharpie if you want to clean up any of your black lines. It will go over your pastel beautifully. And to give a little texture to my land masses, I'm just going to stick a little white in and blend that out. Don't want it to be too perfect. Okay. And there you have it. There is our beautiful land and seascape with oil pastels. So to just finish everything off, we're going to take the edges of our tape and you're going to gently pull it away from your pastel paper. And now I am getting slight rippage, so I'm trying to be really careful. The tape that I'm using is just too sticky. And a little bit of ripping is okay. It gives it a very um, antique -y look, which is fine. I just don't want it to rip into the actual artwork. All right, so there. And we're going to do that now on our bottom. And what I do is I pull it away from the paper. And this helps that if it tears, it tears away from the work that we did. You can just see you get these nice, crisp, clean lines. Okay. We're going to continue on the other portions. Now, don't touch the white with your fingers. As you can see, my fingers are a little bit dirty. And you don't want to ruin all that beautiful work you did by taping it to begin with. And one last piece of masking tape needs to come off. All right, and there you have it, West Babylon, our finished piece. And thank you so much for uh, joining me on this DIY. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.